Welcome to the channel about news from around the world. While you subscribe and like it, we're going to start. Russia, China, and Iran are rapidly strengthening their energy and economic partnership in response to the economic sanctions imposed by the United States and the European Union on Russia and Iran. As a result, countries in the G7 are turning their attention to China, Japan, and South Korea. Reducing their investment in China and planning to decrease their dependence on Chinese exports in the FUT. Euro. This means that China will soon face a decrease in demand from these countries, forcing it to seek new markets for its products in the future, such as Central Asia, the North Caucasus, and the Middle East, which are rich in energy resources and have key transportation corridors. To form this new geopolitical axis, Iran and Saudi Arabia restored diplomatic relations, while Syria was included in the League of Arab States. And Erdogan's victory in Turkey strengthens stability and allowed for large-scale investment. Projects In the spring of this year, China and Iran signed an unprecedented strategic agreement in the energy sector with Chinese companies planning to invest for $150 billion in the Iranian economy over the next 25 years. Russia and Iran also signed 10 agreements worth over $40 billion in the oil and gas sector at the end of last year. China's proposal to expand energy resource trade by building new infrastructure was supported by Russia which plans to build new gas pipelines in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. This year, Russia also held its first summit with Central Asian countries, demonstrating its interest in further economic integration with all countries in the region. The United States is aware of this trend and is doing everything possible to prevent the creation of a new geopolitical axis by destabilizing the situation in Central Asia and the Caucasus. Thank you for watching. If you're interested, subscribe and leave a comment.